welcome back YouTube. We back at it again with another reaction video. I told you I had some more videos coming. Uh, uh I got my other videos for the depression and girls and stuff will be going up tomorrow. I got some gold digger video reactions coming up tomorrow, so be sure to check. Well, I might have one of them go up tonight. Tonight. And tomorrow we're gonna do some like uh uh I don't know. I think it's something. <laughs> but I forgot. My brain is like all over because I was I was doing some stuff like doing some art and drawing and stuff. But let's check out my boy Tyron Mano's site while uh Netflix canceled the Resident Evil show. We know why the fuck that shit was canceled. I was sitting there like Is anybody surprised? Shouldn't be surprised. Although I would not have been surprised if it did get a second season just because of how entertainment has been within the fat past couple of years. Like just the stuff that they're trying, it's just like, why are you doing this? Why? And they just continue to keep doing it. And right. For those who don't know, um, the Resident Evil show got canceled, which is good, because when I watched it, I did a, I think I did a review on it too, and then I changed it, because I was like, this shit is, it's garbage, it's garbage, it's made it sound like I said the big word, but I actually said garbage, uh, it's just so many things wrong with it, <laughs> I don't know what they try to be racist, funny or just flat out gaggy with it or woke with it and neither one worked the only thing good about that show was the cgi monsters they did and those look beautiful fans for the most part the majority of fans continue to not like it i don't understand it i watched it because it's what i do I do reactions and I do reviews. I give your opinion, give my opinion on what it is. But I just couldn't believe the changes that they made and what they. I was just like, what? I mean, do you do it because the fan base comes with the title of the series? I don't understand why they can't make stuff that's faithful to the source material. I. I do not understand it. Why? I feel his pain. It's like, like I said earlier, it's like, like I was telling my friends this, Capcom had to read the script of this, right? And it couldn't have been multiple people, it had to be one person that read this. And was like, stamp it, you good. Good, go. This, this, this gonna make us men, gotta go. Yeah, make this, yeah. And I can't believe Netflix didn't check this either. I, Cause you know they have to have a board meeting about this stuff. Hey, I was making a Resident Evil TV series, right? Let's make it about the games, right? But, but this is what we gonna do. We ain't, we gonna go all the way left with it, and don't go right with it. You see what I'm saying? We ain't gonna follow the game. We gonna make up our own Resident Evil stupid story, right? And and the other guys like, yeah, yeah, that's a great idea. That's gonna bring in some money. Yeah, yeah, Netflix. Yeah, we gonna. Yeah, we're gonna get paid. Yeah. Yeah. No. No, I need to be in a room with Netflix. I actually need to sit down and just be like, I, I don't even have to say anything. I just need to be there in the boardroom just listening what went through all of their heads making us think that this was a good idea. Cause soon as somebody says something like this, like, hey y'all, let's make Wesker black and then make his one child black and then make his other daughter white and then let's make the owner of Umbrella Corporation a woman and she's gay and they have a son, right? Spoiler alert. And, uh, and then we're going to skip towards the future, right? Where the and this is so funny, the white girl turns into an Asian girl. 
black girl still is like kind of make kind of a little bit sense because she grew up too. And then we're gonna make this giant Resident Evil crocodile monster creature thing underneath the boat and just flabbergast it. I ain't gonna lie, CGI looked kind of good, but thank God it was counsel. <laughs> Jesus. Why you lose on. all that damn money and change something? You know what I mean? I, I, I don't understand. It's like making a Superman movie and Superman's a teddy bear. Superman's not a teddy bear. They change so much stuff. And, and I, I, I just, it, it does not make any That's sense how it to is. me. It does not make any sense to me. I, I, keep people what they are in these stories. Keep events what they are in these stories. I say make it as 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 close to the source material without it being hokey as possible. You know, I mean, w we know if 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 Hugh Jackman had been given a warring costume, especially that yellow and blue one. And from, like, if you want to make it as faithful as possible, <laughs> yellow spandex. <laughs> like, we know that wouldn't have translated properly to, to, to real life, to movies. I, I get that. But you guys got to try at least. You know what I mean? <sighs> you know, like, like they trying. went far enough by not making them short. I remember, because I think Wolverine's like, Five six or something like that in the comics. It's like really short. The, the reason, I'm, also and, the reason I'm doing a lot of these video guys, because you guys are supporting me. Hundred and two subscribers. I'm pumping out. I'm gonna pump out ten videos in two days, and I'm probably gonna upload first because <laughs> it's gonna destroy my sleep. But then if those videos get enough likes and subscribers, and we hit a two five hundred subscribers and. A, and I'm popping out more videos. So, so you guys know. Y'all motivate me. Y'all my dry. Y'all my, my Red Bull energy drink. And also, thanks for those positive comments. I also love y'all keeping the comments safe and clean. Except for one guy I had the ban. Hugh Jackson is what? He's like, what, 6'2", six, 6'3", six, six, something like that. And I remember as a fan, I was just like, Thing. Why didn't they get a short, muscular dude to do this, man? But he did such a great job. You know, you, you didn't care about the height anymore. So anyway, I'm just like, you know, Netflix puts out really good stuff. And as we can see, they put this out. You know, I'm a Netflix fan. I've had Netflix since around when they started. The DVDs in the mail, I've had them since then. Now, I've never canceled my membership. Wait, Netflix would deliver to the mail? I don't remember that. Oh, wait, yes, I did. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. When they first, when they first, because I remember my mom telling me about it, she was ordering movies because my red boss got canceled. She was like, Netflix. Yeah, it was a thing. And I was like, what the? They bring out good things and bad things and everything in between. They bring out everything for everybody. I get that. If people want to try new stuff, but when it comes to stuff like this, you got to stick to the source material as close as possible. We're going to see exactly what happens with Rings of Power because, and I know that's not on Netflix, but we're going to see exactly what happens. You're, you're talking to a fan that's not familiar with the majority of the source material. Well, I got an overload but review coming up, so all six I just of the it so when I go into this, we're going to see what my reaction is. Okay? We'll see. But I say, I would love to sit in a meeting. I would love to sit and talk to the executives at Netflix that, that greenlit this. That thought, yeah, this seems like a hit. This seems like a hit. Like, I can't even see nobody saying that in a meeting. I can't. I can't see I, anybody saying You know what's crazy? I can't see nobody saying that either. You just gotta think about it. Like, who sat down and just looked at this and was like, man, this gonna make us millions of dollars. 
Nah, I'm not scratching. They're going to make us $30 million. We finna be in a bag. And then people go see it. And they're like, what the hell is this? And I'm going to watch it. It's like, it's like, I ain't going to even blame Netflix. I'm going to blame Capcom because Resident Evil is Capcom, baby. This is what got them back in the settle. And it's like, hey, yo, Capcom. Did you see what Net? If I was Capcom, if I was the CEO of Capcom, I would sue Netflix. <laughs> it wasn't in enough, but they can't sue because they signed the paper for the shit. So I digress. Saying in a meeting, yeah, yeah, this will work. Yeah, this is what we'll do, right? <laughs> this will work, and you got, you got to throw in the, throw that in. Trust me, that's gonna work. I just, anyway, so Resident Evil Lance Riddick reacts to the show cancellation by Netflix after season one. Aloy, Mr. Week. <laughs> so I, let's see what his reaction was to the cancellation. After news that Netflix had canceled Resident Evil only one season, after only one season, stars of this series are sharing their thoughts. Lance Riddick posted a video on social media to address fans that supported the production on the streaming platform. I didn't see anyone supporting it. I guess I'll have to look through more videos. I, I didn't see anybody on YouTube supporting it. Maybe people, you know, maybe they support it that way. I want to do this video because I wanted to do some acknowledgments and some thank yous, he said. All of you are well aware by now. Our show Resident Evil on Netflix has been cancelled. The haters and the trolls, notwithstanding, I want to give a special thank you. I love how he's doing this. I'm just laughing while I'm looking at this show. video on my, my monitor, my other That's monitor, because I'm trying to doing set my stuff down. Because there are a hell Like I said, I got a bunch of videos going up, so I got to make sure these videos don't get copyrighted. Riddick so. went on to thank the fearless leaders and co stars that included Ella, all right, all these names, uh huh, executives at Netflix who believed in the show. Uh, bu 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 we worked our asses off. We had a great time, and we made a hell of a show. Thank you, onward and upward. Uh, Resident Evil takes place in the year 2036. 14 years. Okay, I don't need the rest of that. Hey, so it is what it is. You know what I mean? Um, I I mean, here's the thing. I can get trying to try something new and truly believing in your vision and think it's going to work. Okay. Hey, listen, there's some videos that I make even on YouTube where I'm trying something new and my fans just don't want to see it. It, it just doesn't work. Thank God they ain't you happening I mean? yet. One of the rules of business like is and one of the major I told you I got some Dragon Balls in content want. coming. So I try I different new things, but up. I still continue to give people what they want. So what y'all need to do is give us what, is, what we want. Go back to the drawing board, make it like it should be. Not campy, hokey, cosplay-ish like the movie was you put in the theaters. And not so far left, and I don't mean that as a pun, but just so left field and make so many damn changes and 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 stray from the source material so much that we that the fans don't even recognize what you're doing. Stick with the source material, cause that made the move. All the movies that came out look great. All right. Let me see. Actually, yeah, got them other Resident Evil movies that I know we're talking about, but them were not great. I want to say they did stick to the source material. It just I didn't like how they had Alice as just the main antagonist and Chris and Claire and nobody else was just seen around the story. Weird to me. Got the video here from Twitter. I'm gonna see real quick if he actually talks like that, or if that's just his persona for the movies. 
Good morning, everybody. Ah! I hope everybody is having a great weekend. Uh, so, I want to do this video because I wanted to uh, do some acknowledgments and some thank yous. Uh, as all of you are well aware by now, our show Resident Evil on Netflix. Is so he, I hear a little bit of that in there, but I don't, you know, I see he's got kind of like a persona for how he, when he acts, because he's the same in Horizon games as he is in John Wick as he was in Netflix. People love how he's been. I do. I really like how he acts. I think he's a great actor. I just think the idea was bad for the show. I have no hard feelings. I have nothing against the man and all this. You know, I have no no hard feelings against anybody. Um, you know what I mean? But it's like, please stop making entertainment like this. It's just, you know, yeah, give the fans what they won't. want instead of what you think they want. You know? Ah. <sighs> Post comments down below. Let me know what y'all thought. If you enjoyed my reaction to this news. All right. Thank you, Tyron Manasseh. I appreciate that, man. Don't make, if y'all don't know who Tyron Manasseh, go check my man. He's posted a lot of my favorite videos to watch. But I'm going to get my thoughts on it because that's what you all are here for. My thoughts on it being canceled, I'm happy it got canceled. If I was a businessman and I saw that and I created Resident Evil and I saw that, I would be... Be like, yeah, I'm suing y'all. <laughs> but every diamond penny you get, I am suing. You better bring every lawyer and judge you get. Because you're getting sued so hard. So hard. I'm going to make sure you feel the pain. Because I want you to feel the pain I felt by showing this to our fans. But it is what it is. But, I don't know, man. I feel like they could make a good Resident Evil movie. It just somebody needs to go in there and be like, nope, we, we, you can't do this. Yada, yada, yada. No. I don't know, man. It's just, man. I don't know what to tell them, folks. Yeah. Oh, we're going to be doing a reaction to everything, by the way. But anyways, guys, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Make sure you smash that like button. Share it to all your friends. And i catch you guys later. Welcome back, YouTube. Welcome back to Blitz Wave YouTube channel. Today, y'all might see my stream layout a little bit different. But hey, it's... It's right here. This is my new stream layout. I uh, hope you guys like it and enjoy it. Uh, today we're acting to the Black Moth Wukong 8 minute gameplay trailer 4K RTX, which is the graphics card I have <laughs> in my PC. Uh, I have the, the old, well, not an old, old version, but it's a decent model. But uh, yeah, let's check this uh, Song Wukong out. I can't believe I missed this though. Somebody had tweeted me this. I got. I need to stop paying more attention to my tweets. Sorry, the people who follow me on Twitter. Appreciate that follows on Twitter, you guys. All right, that's why someone Kong can transform to anything: insects, bugs. I'm also on my way to this too, y'all. This is live too, live. This shit looking funny. I can't believe this is actually running on the PS5 engine. Oh yeah, that's why someone calling to make clones of himself. 
Oh, uh, like they fall in, they fall in the book to a T. You know, people are super hype about this game. Uh, the people that's developing the game are really taking their time making this game. And it looks gorgeous every time they show some gameplay of this game. And I read something called Book. The English one, not the Japanese one. Because, you know, people, you have...